Hey guys, this is a Canon PIXMA TS7720. Let's go over some ink cartridge related problems that you may have on this printer. The error codes that you may see on your screen are 1401, 1403, 1430, and 1485. Let's see what we can do to get rid of them. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. I have on my screen a 1401 error, support code 1401. And it says no ink cartridge is installed. Please install one. I do have both of the ink cartridges installed. And let me show you what caused that error. On my color cartridge, I put this tape just to simulate that problem. If I remove it, the problem will go away. So if you're having the same issue, there's something wrong with this contact area. Um, you need to either clean it or remove the tape if you just bought the cartridges. Make sure this area is clear um, and not damaged. So gently wipe it with some damp towel or paper towel and uh, wait for it to dry. If you had ink on here that you needed to clean, it is most likely that there's also ink inside the carrier. So if you look closer, this is where the cartridge contacts touch the carrier pins and if there's anything blocked there such as maybe peeled off tape or some ink anything there you can just clean that up um, and you need to just be very careful so um, it doesn't break any of the pins when you're cleaning don't be very rough on that just kind of tap some paper towel or a Alcohol swab would probably be the best. Make sure the printer is off and unplug when you're doing that. And then when you're done cleaning that, let it dry also. Plug the printer back in and then install in cartridges. There you go. So that's Air 1401. Air 1403. It's most likely that the ink cartridge that you put in there is not the one that is supposed to be there for example for this ts7720 in the united states and canada um the cartridges are 286 and 285 and if that's what you have installed you have the correct ones but uh if you have aftermarket or refilled in cartridges that could cause a problem sometimes just make sure um that's not the case if you bought aftermarket cartridges go ahead and do a re return as soon as possible so you don't get stuck with a bad set of ink cartridges and that happens sometimes and sellers are usually very good on on top of re returning or replacing those cartridges so um it's just something kind of a heads up if you're trying to save money sometimes and getting aftermarket ink that could be a problem and then make sure it's the correct uh, ink cartridges uh that <laughs> Refer to your printer over here. You have for the black, it's PG285. For color cartridge, it's 286. Um, so make sure you have that uh, on your cartridges, the ones that you buy, and check that. Also, that problem could be triggered by the first issue that we went over is dirty, um, dirty contacts or tape on it, uh, tape on the uh, cartridges that causes that. If you're using aftermarket cartridges, there could be a message on the screen saying that they're not Canon genuine cartridges, and you usually can bypass that by pressing OK. Any of these errors, and also 1430, 1430, basically indicates that the cartridge is not installed. Go over the same kind of areas and make sure the ink cartridges are in good condition. If it's something that you've used and it all of a sudden started giving you that error, most likely the problem is with the um, some ink getting into the area of the contact. Also, check the print head area of your cartridge. It's this area right here. If there's ink buildup, all four of these messages can pop up. So in a way, it's direct. Like All these four messages are more clear but sometimes it can trigger a wrong message 
but all four of these uh, support codes are going to refer to the in cartridge problems. And uh, error or support code 1485 will refer to a RON cartridge installed. If I remove, I remove cartridges and try to install in a wrong slot, for example, if I try to install the black one into the wrong into the color, it just will not fit. It is built unique, so you can see these things. These tabs are going to be the ones guiding your cartridge, and also um, you can see how the black has corner like on the right side and color has corner cut off on the left side so you cannot mix those up what you may be able to is if you get aftermarket cartridges those could be identical and they may not have those features on there so that's something that you really have to make sure that you uh, do the correct placement of the cartridges make sure you put the black into the black slot and the color into the color slot. Um, if you mix those up, it'll just tell you that there's a problem. Most likely it'll pop up with a 1485 support code. I hope I was able to address the issues that you were having with your printer. And I'm really hoping that you were able to resolve that. I would really appreciate if you could comment um, in the comment section below with a certain problem that you're having with your printer that I may be able to help with. Or uh, if you have more suggestions on this particular issue. Thank you once again and have a great day.